Hey there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and a new card making video where we are going to make a scene that looks like a message in a bottle under sea with some really cool new stencils from Trinity Stamps. You can see them right here, underwater scene. So there are stencils and masks that come in this set and there's a really cool stencil that just brings everything to life. So we've got our three masks and three stencils. So this stencil right here actually has two parts that you can use to create your scene, different layers. And then you have this part, it also has the fish at the top, which I don't actually end up using, but the one that brings it to life is this one right here where you can have the rays of light shining through the water. So we're going to set out and start stenciling. I'm using my blending buddy brushes from Trinity Stamps. These are indeed my favorite blending brushes for dye-based ink. Oh my word. And now they have these little color indicators that you can snap onto them. It's so amazing. And I have now one for each kind of color. So any reds I have a brush for, any pinks and the, all that. I love to have that. And I have them on this little Lazy Susan on top of my little shelf in my stamp room. So I am loving it. It's like brought new renewed life to my blending buddy brushes to have these color um, things on them. So loving it. All right. So I'm moving on to some green. I know some of the things like I just did green are coral. So I could do a different color there, but I did everything green and then I'm adding in some sand and I'm just kind of letting things blend together where, you know, you could tape off a portion if you wanted to, but I was just going for it. This was the first time I had played with this stencil set. So I was just getting a feel for it. You know, like you just got to play with it. You got to see how it's going to work and just have fun. So that's what I was doing here. And I am using inks from Altenew. And I think that this little rock feature with the opening, so cute. So very cute. All right. So let's move on to the next layer. I'm doing a little bit darker shade of brown and just going over that sandy portion of the stencil, the, the bottom part. And um, I, yeah, got to move my magnets tape. Do you ever do that? Like you forget, you get so excited about stenciling, you forget your parts and pieces. Yeah, that's what I did, but it all worked out. Nothing moved too much. And I was able to add my green in because it's a darker color, this olive ink and go right over part of the stenciling that I had already stenciled. So it worked out really good. And um, I think you could do these stencils in a different order if you wanted to. Um, I was just kind of doing an order that made sense to me. However, there is like embossed wording on the stencil that tells you tells you like, I don't know if it's one, two or three or like ABC. So you could always follow that. All right. So this is the very bottom skinny layer of sand. I added that. And now let's see what the three layers look like. Oh, so cool. All right, so now I'm breaking out the masks. And when I do a mask, I like to put them a little bit down. So almost like the very crack edge of the stenciled image is showing. That way I don't get a white halo around things, which I do get a tiny bit of a white halo in some portions, um, but this just helps kind of prevent that. And I noticed if I brushed up, it kind of helped me get in and around those smaller, uh, more delicate images like the seaweed and the coral. So I did that. Plus it gave me that kind of cool streaked look it just made it look more realistic to me. So there it is with the water and the masking. Oh my goodness. I love this stencil. It was so fun to play with. So the next step, I'm just adding a little bit of blue, trying to go over those white halos, but it didn't really matter. Didn't make a difference. So I'm going to dry this really well with my heat tool because the next layer I'm going to do over the top of this one is going to be white ink over dye ink. I was pretty nervous, but I decided to do it. And one thing that I noticed is that it worked a little bit better if I did a pouncing motion versus a dragging motion. Also, I'm going to clean off my brush in between each of the lines of the stencil in case I do get any ink on there. I definitely got less ink when I pounced versus when I kind of went in a circle. So there is 
my light rays. I think this stencil is so cool and so much fun. And really now it's just up to you whatever scene you want to put on here. But I decided to do a message in a bottle. So I'm taking this Cheers die set. Um, it's, you know, look, it's kind of made for wine and like bubbly and champagne and stuff like that. However, I like to use it for other things. And I love the cork because it has the little embossed detail in it. So cute. So now I'm just taking my Blending Buddy brush that already has the blue on it from doing the water and adding a little blue like glow around the edge of the bottle. And it just adds a little something extra. Now we need to do the message. So I have the See You Soon stamp set with that Darling Mermaid holding a narwhal it's like the cutest and then i stamped the sentiment from that that says see you soon but it's spelled s e a right so it's super cute then i just tore around my little message until i got it to be the size that i wanted for my bottle so it was you know would fit in there um and be uh so there was a bottle border around my paper <laughs> Just like that. So it got pretty small. And then I'm going to take the same brown blending buddy brush that had the ink on it for doing the sand. I'm not adding any more ink, but I'm using it to just dust up the edge. And then I wanted it even darker on that very crack edge. So I'm bringing in my darkest brown and just doing direct to paper there. And now it's time to put all the things together. When I'm gluing with vellum, I kind of rub the glue out or spread it out with my finger and then it doesn't show up like an, a harsh dot of glue. So you'll see me do that a few times and it works pretty good for me. Um, you are gonna be able to see a little bit of the adhesive through this vellum, but if I didn't tell you, I don't think you would notice. So this is actually a vellum adhesive tape runner. My friend got this for me at a scrapbook show once and I've been using a lot of it. I kind of need to figure out where to get more because I like it. So here you can see it really well. But if you like press on it and you rub it, it really kind of disappears into the paper unless you know it's there then you would really be like oh there's the tape line you know but if you don't know it you don't really look for it so all right now check out this die set it's the mermaid cove die set and it's got silhouettes that you can die cut from different colors of cardstock so i did my mermaids in holographic silver which my husband was like there, there's no silver mermaids. And I was like, listen, this is my underwater scene. So there can be holographic silver mermaids. That's what I decided. So I went with it and I love it. Um, so there's also all these different seaweed and coral um, things, little starfish, which I love. And if you have seen my other videos, you may have already seen, I did a ship in a bottle with this same uh, die set that bottle. So I'm gonna have a link to that video after this one if you want to see how I created that scene and put the ship in the bottle. See, I like to use this bottle for other things besides just champagne and wine. Although I have made two bubbly cards with this wine bottle set. So I guess it's a good set. It's not one I would be like, oh my gosh, I reach for it all the time, but I really do. I have made four or five cards with that bottle already. So Pretty cool. I made a shaker with it. Yeah, it's fun. All right, so now I'm adding some embellishments. These are matte metallic. Um, I think they're bronze embellishments, new from the Trinity Stamps shop. I love how they just look so soft and smooth with that matte finish. It's so gorgeous. And so I'm just adding that on because I needed a little something, a little filler, and it works great. And now I'm adding this to my slimline card base. And then the teal border around this just helps um, intensify that underwater feel. And now for the little um, bubbles for the Made. I have another new embellishment. Um, I think these are called Suncatcher. Um, they just have this iridescent finish to them. They're so mirror-like. So I will link all these things for you in the description box below so you can check out all of the supplies. Also, that Cheers bottle that I used, if you're watching this right when it comes out, is currently 50% off that particular die set because 
Trinity Stamps is having a big birthday sale. So I'll have a link to the sale for you in the description box below, but know that it only goes for a few days. So if you're watching this later, the sale has probably passed. <laughs> All right, so there is my message in a bottle card. I had so much fun with those stencils creating this underwater scene, and I know I can use those stencils with so many other underwater stamps and dyes that I already have. So thank you so much for stopping by. Stay tuned next at the end of this video, you can click and watch my ship in a bottle card. And I will see you all again very soon on the next video. Happy stamping. Bye.